What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and today we're going to answer the question of whether or not you should buy the Warbringer Axe. This particular weapon has been on many agents wish list for quite some time, but does it live up to the hype? Well to get things rolling first we have to take a look at what it does. This axe can do quite a bit of single target damage. It even has adamantium. This means that attacks from this weapon ignore the defense stat. However, they do not bypass shields. Originally, this thing penetrated shields and ignored defense. And let me tell you that was really nice, especially against someone like Rescue or Magneto. Even with that being said, its main attribute was, and still is, Warbringer. This grants Warbound to all allies. So Warbound allies gain War Frenzy when attacked, and this increases attack and accuracy. Now one stack of this also used to be applied at the start of combat and that was really nice and very beneficial. However, that leads to another nerf that this weapon went through. It no longer grants that stack of War Frenzy at the start of combat. And that's not even the end of the nerfs, but we'll get more into that once we enter our PvP matches. And speaking of those PvP matches, we're going to be using a suggested team from a viewer and subscriber. Agent Nick calls his pair Team Paparazzi, and I have to admit that's a pretty epic name. Then for my item setup, I'm going to be using the Warbringer Axe, the Neurotrope, Synthetic Cube, and Coulson's Revenge. I was hoping to proc coordinated attack, but it doesn't proc in a single battle. That's something I've gotten used to and that's why I really don't use it in PvP. But anyways, the first match is going to be against Fandral and Magneto. As I begin this battle, I want to give you some history on the Warbringer Axe. I was one of the lucky ones and bought mine when it first came out and then I got a replacement for free from the PvP spin. That's right, for one season it was the PvP roulette item. I believe I actually ended up winning two, so I had two in my armory. My original one, and then one of the two updated axes that I won. For the first, I don't even remember how many seasons of PvP, but it was quite a few. It never even left my bar. It was 100% in every single build. This weapon was just absolutely dominant and even after some of the first nerfs, it was still worth using. Let's take a look at the effect right now. It stacks three times and increases attack and accuracy. However, now it says each attack removes a stack of War Frenzy. Now originally, War Frenzy times three basically stayed on your team the entire battle. Even after your agent was knocked out, it persisted through death. There was almost no getting rid of this buff. It also provided quite a boost to your attack, in a time where attack wasn't that high. For example, matches weren't over as quickly as they are now, and there weren't that many heavy hitters or one-shot killers. It was also a great equalizer. You could beat someone with a much higher armory just because of the very noticeable increase to attack and accuracy. It really was the definition of a must-have weapon. Many agents felt like they couldn't even beat someone who had the axe. I think that's why there was so much hype around this weapon's re-release. But all that previously mentioned attention ended up leading to the Warbringer Axe to be one of the most heavily nerfed items in history. When I say that I don't mean it was nerfed into oblivion, or basically useless like the Vigilante Toolkit, or the Brute, or even the Restored Lewis Machine Gun. Those items have basically seen no PvP action since their major over nerfs. I mean, they got hammered into the ground. The Warbringer Axe, not so much. The main problem lies in conjunction with the nerfs, and it's the fact that so many items now remove buffs. For one, it's not that easy to get three stacks of War Frenzy on you quickly in the first place, unless you're facing a team with someone like Quicksilver. So you build up War Frenzy, and then it just gets wiped away by one of the many buff removers. The other problem is matches go so quickly that you kind of need that instant buff, so you'd pretty much be better off with a strength and rather than waiting on three stacks of War Frenzy. At least when War Frenzy was applied at the start of combat, you could take advantage of it early. What I'm getting at is the Warbringer Axe did become replaceable, and I personally stopped using it for a while. But I do have to say I have it back on my bar, and the explosion of Quicksilver teams helps me get that early War Frenzy boost. I think it's definitely something you can take advantage of. So yes, I know I went through a lot of nerfs and a lot of reasons why the Warbringer Axe isn't quite as dominant as it used to be, but as far as a pretty high damage item and something that does boost attack and accuracy, 
makes it a pretty worthwhile weapon and something you may want to consider equipping, providing you can take advantage of it before it gets removed, which is sometimes easier said than done. Okay, I know I'm probably not helping you decide right there. So let me add one last thing and then I'll try to make it more clear. This may not matter to a lot of you, but this item is incredible in PvE. Just like it used to be in PvP, it pretty much is always part of my item set. But as far as PvP and the question of should you buy it or not, I can definitively say if you have the gold to buy it, you should. It's a weapon that you'll probably regret missing out on. Do I think you need it to build a great PvP setup? Not at all. It's actually been kind of difficult to benefit from, but I do have to say there are more Quicksilver teams than ever, and if you can manage to live through those Quicksilver attacks, you can really make his team pay. That's pretty much it for this weapon video, so let's go ahead and finish this one with an attack from the Warbringer Axe. Thank you all for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, good luck, and take care.